After each snow event, we get that cold air to settle in over us. The snowpack also refrigerating the air. And as we venture to numerous sites here, there's still some snow on many roads, especially in neighborhoods and secondary roads and a lot of the rural areas. Uh, there's a look now at central Topeka where we have a clear sky and we'll start getting our daylight a bit earlier. But the time change happens this upcoming weekend and we're going to shift daylight from morning to night. And it will stay daylight until about 8 to 810. Currently, two above, the wind chill at negative nine, a wind west at six. Thankfully, the wind's not in that 15 mile per hour range everywhere. And there's the wind chill advisory. It does go right down toward I 35, and this runs until 10 o'clock this morning. Lawrence, Topeka, Emporia, Manhattan, all included in on this. And tomorrow morning, there may actually be an advisory, at least in the northeast corner, for wind chills that run to near 15 below again. But currently, 16 below is what it feels like in Marysville, a negative 19 in Concordia. Hiawatha at minus 22, so limit your exposed skin and limit how much time you spend outside. There's a look at the actual air numbers. Zero Emporia, Burlington at minus 2. Lawrence, the same thing, almost minus 5 up toward the Nebraska border right now. And nationwide, a huge area of cold air. Upper Rockies, right down toward the Central Plains. It's even well below freezing in Dallas. And look at that, 31 down toward San Antonio, so a light freeze across the Texas Hill Country. And this will gradually ease and start shifting toward the east in the next day or two. Light band of snow going through Oklahoma this morning, but a nice clear sky here. Of course, that does allow for radiational cooling to take place. So whatever heat you have the day before is going right back up into space. And of course, with snow, we are cooling that air off even more. So for today, lots of sunshine, a mostly clear sky tonight. Going through Tuesday, more sunshine again. And then the high pressure area starts breaking down. So we'll start picking up some clouds through Wednesday. And then we have two systems to head in, one for Thursday and one primarily on Saturday. And the temps will be quite a bit warmer by then. So 18 today, that is it, dropping to 6 above tonight. Tomorrow's high at 25, not much better, but slight improvement. And then we'll get some melting certainly for Wednesday with a high temperature around 38 to near 40. The first system may give us some patchy light mix on Thursday into Thursday night. And then we'll have some showers by late Friday and we get into rain on Saturday. There's your live look outside. That's Lawrence on our WeatherCam network. You can also venture into many more pieces of information with our mobile app and our website, which is KSNT.com. I'm David George. We're coming right back with more as we go live until 7 